What's up everyone? Brett Wallace, your Fort Bend County Realtor. Today we're coming to you from the Imperial Subdivision in Sugarland. Okay, so this subdivision is a little bit more eclectic, different than most of the subdivisions we've profiled. This is a Johnson development community, which means it's gonna have all the amenities and all the cool stuff um, that Johnson's known for. So this community has lofts, which we're coming upon right now. It has an over 55 apartment um, community. Um, so don't worry, it's not a college apartment, so you're not gonna have you know a whole bunch of noise complaints, um, Sugarland Police coming up. But one of the, the biggest features probably that we're coming upon about this community is its proximity and kind of inclusion of, of Constellation Field, which is where our minor league team, the Sugarland Skeeters, play. And big news in the last year is that and we'll, we'll loop back around and come back and see a better view of it. We'll get a, we'll get a really good view once we come back. Um, that the, the Houston Astros, it's become part of the Houston Astros organization, which if you know anything about Houston or greater Houston, the Astros are an integral part of our community and uh, Minute Maid Park downtown is one of the best places to go on, on you know, catch any games, it's so much fun. But um, we're, the Sugarland Skeeters are now part of the Astros organization, which has been a huge uh, boon to um, the popularity and kind of like this is also a great um, Constellation Field is so amazing to have events at our office has our Christmas party here almost every year they do a light festival for at Christmas um, the Sugarland Lights it, it is the entire field is decked out with Christmas stuff so here's a great view coming in and it's a it's seriously one of the nicest I mean I haven't been to a lot of minor league parks um, in the country, but it is, it's a hoot. It's awesome. They even have concerts here. I, every time I bring up ZZ Top, but I've seen ZZ Top here, um, a lot of corporate events here. It's awesome. So this is probably one of the, the central parts of Imperial. So price points to expect in Imperial is about the 330s, 340s to, um, I've seen something record at $1.9 million and that's gonna be probably on Oyster Creek or a waterfront lot. Um, so Imperial, like most places in Sugarland, is closing out um, soon. So Imperial is a redevelopment of the site formerly occupied by Imperial Sugar Company, the oldest continually, continuously operating business in the state of Texas, who's processed sugar on site for over 160 years. So that's the history and that's kind of the background of Imperial. Um, development. It's a 720 acre community that broke ground in 2011. Uh, the first lots were sold in 2014. Currently, um, actually probably about a month or two ago, we're in early 2021. So early 2021, I spoke with the Johnson people and they told me that there are around 470 completed homes. There are 25 in construction. And there are 43 lots remaining, and I guarantee you there's less by the time you're watching this video. So um, at that time there was Meritage had 11 homes, Grace Point, which we'll turn around and we'll, we'll show you Grace Point, which is kind of a townhome, three-story product. Um, but Meritage and Darling, Darling also has the multi-level townhome product right now, which is where we're going sold, 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 sold. So I mean, man, there might not be hardly any lots left by the time you're, you're looking at this, but you, we can always consider retail. Here's the Imperial Sugar Factory. So glad we kind of took this little route. Um, that is the site of the most, you know, Texas's longest running continuously operating business, which is insane um, when you think about how big Texas is and how far back we go. So let's do another UE, get back in the community, but this is the Imperial um, Business Complex. Okay, so getting back into um, Imperial, um, like I said, Grace Point probably has 16 lots. Darling has 16, but as you can see, we just looked, we just drove, we'll come back again. Um, these were probably some of the last Darling lots that my Johnson contacts were talking about uh, about a month ago when I talked to them and I'm seeing sold, 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 sold. So, um, by the time I can probably confidently say that the community's closed out um, for new new construction by the time this video goes hot. So um, resale home builders are going to include Trendmaker, 
Sitterly Homes and Partners in Building. If you know anything about Partners in Building, it's gonna be pretty expensive, um, the homes that they're offering. So we will, let's go over down to the right. So these are the Grace Point homes that I was I was speaking about. There are a few left. So this is kind of the townhome um, option here in Imperial. Um, do wanna do want to let you know that the expected build out is two part. The residential is pretty much complete, um, except for a planned section near Mayfield Park once the Imperial Market development finally starts construction, which we've been waiting on for a while. And I believe that's where we're about to come upon right now. Um, so commercial sites available right here and across this is a good, man, this is just working out pretty cool. So directly across those hangars back there, those buildings are hangars. That is Sugarland Airport. For all you private jet setting um, people, you have very close proximity to one of the best regional airports uh, around. I don't know if it's in Texas or in the country, but that's one of the highest rated uh, regional private quasi-private, I don't know. I, I see a lot of planes going in and out of there, but it's definitely not the Southwest Airlines hub or you know, you're not gonna see United and American Airlines over there um, or Delta, right? Um, but anyway, here's some of the community right here. These are the single family homes and I'm gonna drive a little slower. A lot of these are gated communities, so we're probably not gonna be able to tailgate in. I don't have an appointment um, and there's no home, new home construction in here. So um, this is the quiet cove, the little you know subdivision within the subdivision. You've seen a lot of tile roof, um, which, you know, 30, 40, 50 grand just for a roof. And um, they're just beautiful. A lot of Mediterranean style feel, um, stucco. That's a pretty modern looking home right there. So, um, like I said, the expected build out, once that once that commercial site we just saw um, finally starts construction, you know, um, they, they have some new interest in retail and the restaurants now, especially now that it's been announced that the Skeeters are now affiliated with the Astros. So, um, like I said, the Constellation Field is the kind of focal point of the community. And again, we're in such a great location. You're near Highway 90, you're near Highway 6. Um, great schools in the area right now. We're coming up to the Sugar Mill um, neighborhood, which we'll profile in a minute, but there's a Montessori school here. Um, and this is just a great location other than Riverstone, which we've profiled as well on the website and on the YouTube channel, which is pretty much built out. This was the last place you could get in Sugarland new home construction. and these days are numbered here too, as you've seen all the sold signs. So um, as you would expect from any Johnson Development Corp community, the amenities are just first class. You've seen the tree-lined boulevards and streets, the parks and trails, the um, amenity lakes and, and Oyster Creek. Um, you, can, you can have a lot of fun on a short hike bike or drive to the Imperial Market. There's a weekly, uh, there's a weekly farmer's market um, here also in the community. It is zoned to Fort Bend ISD, as you can imagine, being in the epicenter of Sugarland. The 2020 estimated tax rate was 3.13%. Oh, this guy's training for a boxing match. Yeah, you can get it. Get on these trails, get some, get some cardio in. So, um, hey guys, this is Imperial. And I um, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, please reach out to me. Uh, BrettWallace.com has all my contact info. Please feel free to comment, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And I, I just appreciate you guys watching and um, have a great one.